Most caregiver injuries in aged care settings are caused by manual handling tasks, such as lifting and transferring residents. In this video, we will show you how to safely transfer a person from a bed to a chair. We will particularly focus on correct caregiver positioning, the lifter's brakes, and safe sling removal. Before you begin any lift, always carry out a risk assessment for both your safety and that of your residents. Check that the environment is clear of hazards and is uncluttered. Check that the equipment you're using is in good condition. Check that the resident is safe to lift and explain to them what you're going to do. This is all part of your dynamic, day-to-day -day risk assessment. You should also think about your positioning and your safety. This is an example of unsafe caregiver positioning and puts you at risk of harm. Notice how the caregiver is too far from the bed and is significantly leaning over to assist rolling. Her back is not protected in this position. Always ensure that the bed is at a safe working height and that you can stay close to the resident to avoid this leaning or bending and protect yourself from injury. Before applying, check that straps and labelling are visible on the outside of the sling. Then, fold the sling lengthways to allow you to position it. Assist the resident to roll onto their side. Remember, do not lean or bend when doing this. Then, feed the sling under them. Help the resident to roll to the opposite side and unfold the sling so that it is central and in place. Ensure that the sling's material is not bunched up to avoid skin tears. The resident can then be assisted to roll onto their back. Ask them to slightly bend their leg or assist them to do so. Then, one at a time, bring each leg strap so that it is smooth under their thigh. Notice how Aspire slings have a yellow central loop. This can be used for additional dignity and comfort during the lift. When carrying out the transfer, one carer should look after the resident and the other should operate the lifter. To make attaching the sling to the lifter easier, you may wish to raise the head of the bed. Lower the spreader bar to chest level. Extra care should be taken to ensure that it doesn't come into contact with the resident, causing harm. Then, attach the sling to the lifter, ensuring the loop sits securely on the spreader bar. The loops you choose will differ from resident to resident and depending on the transfer being carried out. Because we are doing a transfer from a bed, the lifter's brakes should be off to accommodate the sudden shift in the lifter's centre of gravity. Tell the resident what you are going to do and begin the lift, ensuring their arms are inside the sling. When the sling becomes taut and just before their body leaves the bed, check that all sling straps are still securely sitting in the spreader bar. If they're not, bring the resident back onto the bed, adjust, then continue your lift. Remember to constantly communicate with each other. Lift the resident just high enough so that their bottom will not drag on the mattress during the transfer. When moving the lifter, don't forget your safe manual handling practices. This is an example of an unsafe way of moving the lifter, putting your shoulder at risk. The shoulder joint is one of the most commonly injured body parts when moving and handling residents. Protect yours by keeping your elbows by your side and below shoulder height. Remember, while one caregiver is controlling the lifter, the other should be protecting the resident and ensuring they do not come into contact with the lifter, causing accidental harm. When the resident is at the desired destination, guide them as the lifter is lowered. When sitting safely, ensure that there is enough slack in the sling straps and carefully detach the sling from the lifter, making sure that the spreader bar doesn't come into contact with the resident. Take the lifter out of the way and remove the sling. Notice how the sling's material is gently being folded back, not pulled or dragged. This care will help to avoid skin tears that cause harm to your resident. Remember these steps and our three focus points. Correct caregiver positioning, lifter brakes and safe sling removal for safe resident handling in lighter sit transfers.